Hello, my name is Buzian Hajar. I'm a second year PhD student and in this presentation I'll talk about Berger's equation in a superthermal electron positron ion weakly relativistic plasma. I'll start with a small introduction about plasma, then I'll talk about laser plasma interactions and the creation of solitary waves. After that, I'll present the plasma model that we worked with and discuss a little bit our results. Then I'll finish with the conclusion. Plasma, usually referred as the full state of matter, is a matter which contains enough free charge particles for its dynamics to be dominated by the electromagnetic forces. And although plasma exists in very limited areas on Earth, like the Earth's ionosphere, fire flames and lightning, it is the most abundant form of ordinary matter in the universe. For example, the sun and stars are made of very hot and dense plasmas where much of the interstellar space is filled with cold and underdense or rarefied plasmas. Nowadays, plasma physics has developed enormously into many fields of research, such as space plasma physics, low temperature industrial plasma physics and high temperature fusion plasmas. And among these sub-disciplines, the laser plasma interactions have always been one of the most active and exciting fields ever since the advent of lasers in the 1960s. The past development in high-power short-pulse lasers, especially after the invention of the CPA or Chaus pulse amplification technique, pushed the studies of intense laser plasma interactions to expand and to be developed even more during the past few years. Mainly because intense laser plasma interactions have a variety of mechanisms and applications, such as the creation of X-rays, laser-driven electrons acceleration and ions accelerators. Such an interaction takes place in a very complex physical environment where different effects like dispersion, dissipation and non-linearities play a significant role in the plasma dynamics and the competition or the balance between these effects can create non-linear coherent structures and modes. For instance, if dispersion effect overcomes the dissipation in the non-linear plasma medium, soliton structures will be created, whereas the preeminence of dissipation caused by viscosity or the collision of charged particles, for example, will steepen the wave leading to shock formation. And the generation of these effects depend on both the laser parameters, like its intensity, its energy, and also on the plasma parameters and components. Most of the done research regarding the study of nonlinear acoustic waves consider that the plasma is composed of ions and electrons only. However, observational results confirm the existence of positrons in addition to ions and electrons in space regions, like white dwarfs in the center of our Milky Way and pulsar magnetosphere, and also in plasmas created with intense lasers. Another important plasma component, which can severely affect the properties of the created nonlinear waves, is superthermal particles. Laboratory experiments and astrophysical data have shown that the encountered plasmas in outer space and laboratory are often characterized by a non-Maxwellian high energy tail distribution, generally known as kappa or Lorentzian distribution function indicating that the particles composing the plasma are highly energetic. They travel and propagate with high speeds exceeding the usual thermal speed. So, positrons and superthermal particles must both be taken into account if we want to study plasma acoustic waves. This is the plasma model that we chose to work with. It is described by the three equations of continuity, momentum conservation and Poisson's equation. We considered a four-component plasma 
composed of hot and cold superthermal electrons, ions and positrons. We described the kinetic energy of the electrons by kappa distribution function. And because we are dealing with very fast particles, with velocities almost approaching the speed of light, we took the relativistic effects into consideration. The next step after defining the system was to apply the reductive perturbation technique of Washimi, which is the best known method to investigate the dynamics of ion acoustic waves for weak nonlinearities. And after a few mathematical steps, we managed to derive this equation, known as Berger's equation. Berger's equation and its stationary solution indicate that the considered four component relativistic plasma supports the propagation of shock structures. The nonlinear effects are represented by the coefficient a, the dissipation effects by the coefficient c, and as I said before, the balance between these two effects give rise to shock occurrence. Then we analyzed graphically the basic features of the shock waves and how do they depend on the different plasma parameters, namely on electrons distribution, temperature ratio and the densities of the particles. The first thing that we noticed is that the amplitude of the shock wave increases with increasing of kappa H or the superthermality of hot electrons. However, the superthermality of the cold electrons does not seem to have any influence whatsoever on the shock characteristics. The second plasma parameter that we investigated its influence was the relativistic parameter beta. And as we can see, when the relativistic speed of ions becomes higher, the amplitude of the shock waves becomes higher as well and at the same time the wave becomes narrower so its width decreases. The temperature ratio theta and the positron number p on the other hand have a complete different impact compared to the other two parameters. First they both can lead to the creation of rarefaction and compression waves and also an increase in their values can make the amplitude of the shock waves decreases significantly. As a conclusion, we would say that the variation of amplitude, width and nature, compression rarefaction, of the shock waves in a four component relativistic plasma strongly depend on the different plasma parameters. That's all for this presentation. Thank you very much for listening.